I Vice could News. The rest of my fucking life without watching this fucking filthy degenerate. Thanks a lot, you generation. I don't even know if you're still here, but bruh, this shit's gonna be ass. Let's defend drawn pedophilia. <laughs> Alright guys, hip hip hooray, thank you for the $50 you generation, but I'm not looking forward to this shit, <laughs> fuck, oh man, <sighs> here we go, Midnight Mobile with the two refunded for Spoken for now, money greater than maybe bad game, yeah that's the thing, you can always pick it up later, That's there's no rush. Like shit. Vice News recently put out a hit piece on the manga industry in Japan. Based. It's frustrating. And I. Vice Redemption Arc? Need to debunk it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. His debate with God Howard was legendarily bad. Welcome back to Otaku Daikun. Die here. So, Vice put out a very well produced mini documentary on Japan's anime and manga industry. Their disingenuous title investigates the, uh, child loving manga industry, exposing a legal loophole that allows Japanese artists to create legalized CP. That's literally what it is, bro. The Japanese government considers this shit to be legalized child porn. Why the fuck do you all think it's something different? It's a rather loaded piece, and no, it's not. I'll be breaking it down and responding to it as we go. Up front, I want to say that I do not support this video, and I don't want you, <laughs> you guys supporting it either if you can help it. It's got enough views as it is, so instead of giving the video itself more clicks, I recommend you look it up on Sankaku Complex, which has an article breaking it down with screenshots, the very same screenshots I'll be using for my video. I've heard Vice's video has a strong amount of dislikes, and while I enjoy- Oh, dude, yeah, nothing pisses off weebs being told more than they're like fucking, uh, you know, filthy degenerates. But- By seeing that kind of backlash, I want to remind you that even disliking a video counts as engagement, helping to boost it in the algorithm. Their vid- We need more eyes on it, guys. Video, while it is well produced, misrepresents certain issues with a clear bias. Despite this- yeah, bias against drawn child porn. How fucking terrible. I mean, bro, how could Vice call themselves a journalistic outlet if they're biased against fucking child porn? Like, those fucking horrible human beings? I can't believe I ever trusted Vice. It's kind of hilarious that they also make themselves look like fools in the process. First off, without even talking about the arguments this documentary makes, I'm extremely pissed to see that Vice's video... <laughs> It was monetized on YouTube. <laughs> the title, for one, should immediately be a red flag. The big P word is one of those buzzwords that YouTube's AI normally latches onto. Yeah, well, Vice is an actual fucking company that probably has contacts at Google that got this shit fucking monetized. Like, you can upload shit in advance and have it manually reviewed, my guy. Meaning that creators have to constantly watch how they phrase things, and yet here Vice is putting it in the title. They probably got it manually reviewed. You can do the same. Before the video even starts, it straight up warns you that it contains graphic imagery, and I can confirm that this video is explicit in showing the actual comics being criticized. Now, you may not know this unless you're a creator, but YouTube's gotten a little bit more lenient with monetization since the ad apocalypse. Creators have the ability to disclose the sev- Bitch, why the fuck do we care? Don't dis- Like, why- Go to the fucking point of the video. Nobody cares about fucking monetization guidelines. Verity of their content ahead of time. Why can't he- Why can't I monetize pedophilia and they can? Like, that's what I'm hearing here, bro. And if you have a proven track record of honesty, YouTube will trust you, assuming the AI doesn't catch any other red flags. It also helps list the exact guidelines between what is and isn't safe for advertisers. And let me tell you, Vice's video is not safe for advertising. You can tell Vice- 
Dog, you ain't safe for the playground. They <laughs> lied about their content here by marking their video as family friendly, which is absolutely ludicrous. They show manga panels from works meant for adults, and while I think that's mighty bold of them, they should not be allowed to get away with monetizing it when so many independent YouTubers are struck down for far less. Dude, he just wants it suppressed. Like, he's upset that it's fully monetized because that means it's gonna get pushed in the algorithm. Like, he wants this shit fucking suppressed as much as possible. He doesn't want the truth getting out there, is my assumption. Seriously, my kill a kill lore got demonetized, and that only shows some TNA. Whereas the panels in this video have drawn child sex abuse. Clearly, YouTube either supports the message of Vice's video, or they heavily prioritize content made by shill media outlets. Yeah, if YouTube supports the message of saying that child porn is bad, you know, good job, YouTube. Are we really calling out YouTube for siding with people who are trying to expose child porn? Oh my god, dude. H how fucking awful of YouTube to stand up against child porn. <laughs> what the fuck? As such, the vid will get pushed in the algorithm and rake in thousands of dollars. See, that's what he's worried about, bro. He's worried about this video getting pushed in the algorithm because it makes weebs look really fucking bad. ...using more offensive content than you'll typically find on the platform. Let's put YouTube to the test, then. I'll be doing a bit of self-censorship, only ever saying or showing things that Vice already put in their video, and I'll try to be even more tame than they were. If this stuff can be monetized on Vice News, then surely that same imagery should be monetizable on my channel. If I find this gets flagged, we'll have definite proof of YouTube's hypocrisy. Like, you don't need it already? Like, bro, why do you even need that shit? Everybody knows YouTube is hypocritical as shit. Welcome to the fucking social media landscape of 2023. Like, fuck. Now, the video starts with a Western journalist touring an anime convention. I can't watch Vice videos on stream, bro, because they uh put their shit in as a TV show. So it gets flagged as like a TV show when you try to stream it and YouTube pulls down your stream in real time. ...in Japan alongside a manga artist or mangaka. Immediately, the journal... I wanted to watch Vice's Andrew Tate documentary on stream, but I can't. Like, there's a lot of shit on Vice I've wanted to watch on stream, but unfortunately you can't because YouTube will automatically pull your stream down. This notice is a dis Dog, what the fuck? A reindeer and a fucking eight-year-old. Jesus Christ, bro. ...display of Kobayashi's Dragon Maid and remarks that Kana, the littlest one, is showing a lot of skin, making... Dog. It does not take a rocket scientist to know that these fucking weebs are beating their meat to that shit. ...her personally uncomfortable. This alone is rather telling. I admit that, for the longest time, I thought it was weird to see prepubescent girls in two-piece swimsuits. I used to believe that attire was for teens and adults, and yet it is just a swimsuit. Now I realize it's one of- Oh, but look, it's next to three fucking bitches whose tits would literally look like they're about to fucking burst. Yeah, so put, like, a little kid in a two-piece swimsuit next to three bitches with titties that look like they're about to fucking pop. Like, yeah, fuck off, dog. This is definitely a sexual setting. One of those things where, if it bothers you, that says more about you than it does them. No. If you find it uncomfortable, that means you're the one choosing to look at kids in a sexual light. Dog, that's like saying that Balenciaga shit where they put the kids holding the fucking gimp teddy bears. Like, that's like saying, oh, you have the problem if you have a problem with kids holding a fucking teddy bear wearing BDSM gear. Like, no! The fucking sicko that made that shit has the problem. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, what? Turning something that should be wholesome into something seedy. Why should Dragon Maid be condemned for representing something we see all the time in reality? Of course, the journalist here isn't upset just because Kana's in a bikini. It's because it's assumed that she's being put in that outfit to appear to Lolicon. Gee, I wonder what would give anyone that idea when three of the other bitches are literally fucking balloon-titted. It's almost like this picture is for sex appeal. <gasps> oh my god, crazy, right? It's because it's assumed that she's being put in that outfit to appear to Lolicon. 
Certainly, Dojinshi would prove that many fans do see Kana in a sexual light. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's just, it's incredible. The fucking mental gymnastics is insane. It's just annoying for the journalist to focus on this when it's just a piece of official art from KyoAni that depicts the cast having fun at the beach. While erotic doujins do exist, they're not being endorsed, at least not here. There are many... Oh my god, bro. Any deliberately chosen shots of the convention center that focus on lewd anime girls of varying ages. And I don't appreciate how they're all being bundled together. Yeah, dude, they're from different franchises. Here we've got some cute ninja girls being cute. But in this shot, we've got a much older woman in Oh, her cute ninja girls being cute, but like their fucking pussy is literally barely covered up by their skirt. Oh, yeah. Wow. They're just being cute, guys. We live in fucking, you know, a vacuum where no context or anything matters and everybody has a pure, innocent mind that's never seen anything. You know, it's just all sunshine and rain. Like, fuck off, bro. Like, look at this bitch. You can literally see right up her skirt and her fucking feet are right there. You're going to tell me they don't try to fucking appeal to foot fetish shit as well? Hell nah. Bro, this shit is... Be it's, like, incredible the fucking hoops these fucking retards will jump through to, like, defend this shit. It's fucking disgusting, my guy. It's gross. In her underwear. No doubt anime loves young women, but there's a clear difference. Those are not women. They're children. Difference to me between a post-pubescent teen with a notable chest and a girl who can be interpreted to be younger than 12. For the people who are turned on by anime children, the appeal between the youngest ninja girl here and that underwear chick are very separate. It's also a slippery slope, because even if we can argue some of those ninja girls have a lowly aesthetic and behaviors, that doesn't necessarily make them children. They're drawn. All right, fuck it. All right, Socrates, where are you? Give me a second, guys. I gotta, I gotta find our friend Socrates. He needs to make an appearance. Socrates needs to bless us with the wisdom of the ancients, because holy fuck. Where are you, Socrates? In our moment of need, please do not hide. Oh, fuck. Where is he? Socrates. Shit. I have so many fucking files on my computer. Socrates. Where the fuck is it, bro? There he is. <laughs> there he is, man. He makes his appearance. Thank you, Socrates. I don't care if she's 800 years old. You like her because she looks like a child. You fucking pedophile. You know, some ancient wisdom just rings true in modern society more so than it ever did in the past. And honestly, this is 100% true. These fucking losers will jump through any fucking mental hoop to try and justify their fucking degeneracy. And it is incredible. As we saw with Rebecca from Cyberpunk, grown women can be petite. Said women can be interpreted as lollies without being kids. I know people see this as a scapegoat, just to f Nika, you ain't funny. Buying their like of lollies by claiming the characters are thousand-year-old vampires. But there really is a decent point to be found there. Dude, you can even see her fucking ass cheek hanging. Like, oh my god, bruh. Here we go. I don't care if she's 800 years old. You like her because she looks like a child. You fucking pedophile. Holy shit, man. You generation with the two enjoying the video? Oh, I I'm loving it, man. I love hearing pedophilia fucking defense. It's just a drawing, bro. It's not real. I mean, I may be attracted to her because she resembles a child, but it's not an actual child, though, so it's perfectly fun. Oh, my God, bruh. It's just... <laughs> sickening. Even if it is uncommon, what would it mean for you to fall in love with an adult who still looks like a child? Does it would be impossible because there's no such fucking thing. 
point to a real world example of an adult that looks like a fucking eight year old. They don't exist. Fuck right off, my guy. That mean you're forbidden from finding them attractive? <laughs> Show an example. Show an example. No. The reason we condemn di no. diddling kids is because they're innocent and can't take full responsibility to consent to things they have yet to understand. Children are- This dude finna say midgets. <laughs> Bruh. Prone to being taken advantage of for their dependence and naivete. But none of that comes into play if we're talking about a fictional character whose age can be arbitrarily changed. As the mangaka Shinji points out, fiction has no victims. More accurately, he's saying that the thing- Yeah, but it builds degenerate activity. Is ...happening to fictional characters in anime and manga aren't happening to real people. Well, of course he's gonna say that shit, because this is how he makes his fucking money, catering these fucking degenerate losers on the internet that jerk off the kids. Like- Like, he's the sick fuck that's drawing that shit. What does that say about him? Why are we taking his word as a fucking subject matter expert? The character Han Solo may die in The Force Awakens, but that doesn't mean Harrison Ford, the actor, got shanked by his own son. Really? I thought he died, bro. What? When it comes to these manga, they're being made by adults for adults, without dragging in a real child. Then why do they put kids in sexual situations if they're by adults for adults if the adult that's drawing this shit doesn't have sexual fantasies about kids? It... Oh my god, this guy should be fucking locked up, bro. He's sitting here fantasizing about kids in sexual situations and then drawing them out for the rest of his fucking degenerate audience to fucking enjoy. What the fuck is this video, my guy? If it has voice acting, it's being done with adult VAs. Then why do they try to sound like they're seven? If children were actually a part of the production of these works, that would be another issue entirely. As Shinji puts it, people should be allowed to enjoy themselves in their own private worlds. This is the- You're the best big brother I could have ever asked for. Remember when that was considered crazy, guys? Remember when you would hear- You're the best big brother I could have ever asked for. You'd think, oh, that's weird, bro. She's fucking her brother. But now, you have to wonder- Oh my god, are these people watching literal fucking seven-year-olds? Like, it's insane, man. Absolutely fucking insane. The beauty of fiction. To explore ideas that are either impossible in reality or undesired in reality. Darth Vader makes for a great, iconic villain. Fans. He's a hero. Fake fan. Even kids get really excited to see him. Wrong color lightsaber, fucking nerd. Him do evil crap. But that's only because we know he's not real. If Vader but Darth Vader is not a villain. But yeah, we won't get into the Star Wars nerd shit, but yeah. If were real, he'd be a horrible menace. Perhaps there are some creepy people out there who legit wish Vader would show up and start chopping up younglings. But that would... Based. Stem from a lack of empathy and mental stability. Well-adjusted humans should know better. And yes, this also applies to lolly stuff. The biggest concern is that when people fap to lolly- Like, look at this shit, bro. That is disgusting. The ...drawings, they'll be more likely to start transitioning that interest into actual children. Yeah, it's called desensitization. It's 100% a legitimately scientifically proven fact that people get desensitized to the more extreme shit they see over prolonged periods of time. All I can say is that if you find this girl indistinguishable from a real kid, then you're lying to yourself. That's not the argument, fuckwad. It's the fact that once you look at enough of this shit, you move on to the next extremity, and that's where it's tur it turns into real kids. That's the difference, you fucking... Like, he's just trying to be deliberately disingenuous, man. He's, like, trying to put up this fucking bullshit intellectual wall, like, oh, you if you can't determine the difference between fiction and reality, like... Yeah, no shit, dumbass. It's like why people watch rape fantasy porn and then they graduate to the real fucking thing when the fake shit doesn't fucking, like, do anything for them anymore because they need to constantly up the ante because they're fucking addicted. 
why does it like people start out, oh, I'll just snort a line or two of coke tonight, and then they become literal fucking coke heads and they have to snort it like 24-7 because they build up a tolerance. They have to continuously up the extremity in order to get the same fucking rush. It's the same shit. I mean, it's just insanity, bro. All those exaggerated details, including her large eyes, scream that this is a stylized representation of the human form, not a... Uh, what, what type of human form is it a stylized representation of, though, my friend? I, I wonder what form of human being this is a stylized representation of, because I don't think it's an adult. Stand in for how we actually look. I love how Shinji adamantly states that you can't just force someone to stop enjoying fiction because it disgusts you. Sure you can. <laughs> just because you see it as problematic, that doesn't mean others treat it as such. Look at these two girls at the convention feeling up a cardboard cutout. <laughs> they have masks on, but it's still clear to see that they're amused and having fun. And I can guarantee that... Yeah, and do you know what that character doesn't look like? A fucking eight-year-old. That fun is only possible because the girls are smart enough to discern fiction from reality. They don't think it's okay to grope people, and if they... It's not. If they were to go around doing that to real women, that would be their own choice to ignore societal rules. I sincerely hope nobody's dumb enough to grab a chick's bust and try to get away with it by saying, Well, it was okay for me to touch the cardboard lady, therefore I'm entitled to touch anyone's chest. Dude, what a fucking false equivalency. Holy shit. Shinji also says you can't just create laws based on personal objections. Yes, you fucking can. That is literally the entire premise of every single fucking law we have. Society thinks killing is wrong, therefore murder is illegal. People agree that there should be a speed limit, therefore you can't fucking speed. You know, theft is frowned upon by most people, so therefore it's illegal. That's literally the premise of all fucking laws. Why are we listening to a fucking manga artist that probably only leaves his fucking house to go to 7-Eleven every night to grab something to eat? when it comes to this type of shit. Like, if he's really dumb enough to actually say that you can't create laws because of personal objections, he's a fucking dumbass. You can't just make something illegal because you don't like it. There have to be... That is literally why we have every single fucking law that we do, my guy. ...be solid reasons to do so, namely that someone is being directly harmed if you don't make it illegal. Not that the law is some perfect reflection of morality, but its goal is to protect people and their respective rights, which in this case is a matter of creative expression versus how this manga might influence people. The video then goes on to describe the legal loophole mentioned in the description, except it's not a loophole at all. Japan banned CP in the year 2014, but re Listen to that, guys. Not a loophole at all. Japan banned CP in the year 2014. 2014 is when they banned CP, bro. They classify this shit as CP. But, like, this is what I'm saying, bro. This is some degenerate shit. And these sick fucks that draw this stuff are fucked up in the head. And why anybody defends this type of crap, I will never understand but recognized that fictional depictions of children didn't count as CP. That's not a... <laughs> but yet they mention it in the same fucking law and breath as actual CP. Loophole. It's just a ruling. You're not sneaking CP through manga, but rather, manga just isn't considered CP at all. No, it's the one legalized version of CP. The video then goes on to misinform people on what rules America has regarding CP, stating that possessing lolly will land you in jail, branded as a sex offender for life. Now, there have been legal disputes over a guy possessing lolicon hentai, but only in conjunction with other legal violations he had already made. There's been back and forth about the legality of this stuff, 
but in the current U.S. Code, specifically Title 18, Section 2256, while it is illegal to possess artificial lewd images of children, it specifies that said drawings need to be indistinguishable from an actual minor, meaning it has to be a realistic drawing of a real-life child. Dude, Joe Biden needs to unite the United States and just ban Lolly. Honestly? Maybe then Joe Biden's approval rating would go up. You know, that's that could be his moment to unite the country together against a common enemy. We could make this shit truly punishable in court. Yeah, he would win my heart too. Sam the Madman with the two two new wait, fuck, two nukes weren't enough. Shit, man. Oh, I'm I'm pit like honestly I am kinda pissed. I'm not I'm an Ellie. Oh my god, bro. This dude just really pisses. He's so fucking stupid. Like the false equivalencies, uh purposeful, you know, just ignorance. Uh I just it's it's insane. Wild. Manga doesn't fall into this because it contains drawings of fictional kids that are clearly in an unrealistic style. They look like human beings, my guy. What is unrealistic? Like, oh, their eyes are bigger. Yeah, dude, everybody knows they're fucking human beings, my bro. Like, no one looks at this and goes, those could be aliens. They're like, no, that's a fucking kid. Contains drawings of fictional kids that are clearly in an unrealistic style. Oh my god, this is such a fucking, like, this is a reach. The journalist eventually visits Shinji in his home, where she takes... Oh, uh, look at that TV, man. Look at all this shit. Ew. It's a look at a book he published. This is where the a book he published. true hypocrisy comes in. While I won't show all these manga panels, you can find... Yeah, so he's a drawer of this fucking degenerate shit. The link to the Sankaku Complex article I mentioned earlier in the video description. You have to consent to viewing it as an adult, which just shows that Sankaku has more integrity than YouTube about this stuff. Either way, the manga shows a very young girl. It was a BDSM magazine called Rape. <laughs> Likely in elementary school, getting taken advantage of by a fat middle-aged man. <laughs> oh my god. An elementary school girl getting raped by a middle-aged fat man. Hmm. Shinji clear. I wonder where he came up with the idea for that. Clarifies there's no deeper meaning behind it. He was. Yeah, it's just a fucking uh, you know, nice thought he had laying in bed one night. Gee, I would really like to draw an elementary school kid getting raped by a fat middle-aged man. You know that'd be real hot, right? Like, what the fuck, dude? How are you defending this shit, man? Like, how is a normal? Well, he's not normal. But, like, how is, like, a fucking adult male, can you look at this shit and be like, this is not fucking disgusting? I was asked to make a child. I can't say the thoughts ever crossed my mind, my guy. I, I cannot say that the thought has ever crossed my mind. Sorry to say. I guess I'm just not as creative as him. Child assault manga for a magazine featuring humiliated girls. Though he does try and clarify that the girl he created for the manga was designed to be naughty, ultimately learning to like what happens to her, as if that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, dude. It's not bad after all, because it started to feel good, though, right? Oh my fucking god, dude. Please, how did he fucking edit this video and go, this sounds like a great point. It's supposed to help his cause. Now, straight up, I find this manga to be disgusting and deplorable. Then call for this type of fucking degen shit to be fucking illegal. I don't know why anyone would fap to it. Because they're fucking pedophiles, bro. And I personally feel it'd be right at home in a horror series rather than an erotic one. Maybe a Stephen King novel, but that's another story for another time. Huh. One person's nightmare is another's fantasy, I suppose. Yeah, and what type of person would have that type of feti- Like, fucking fetish shit. Hmm. Maybe a fucking pedophile.
I don't know, man. Maybe an EDP type? Still, one thing does stand out like a massive elephant in the room. Vice is showing explicit panels from this manga in their video. Certain parts are blurred out, but definitely not the anime girl's face and her horrified expressions. There's a staggering- Yeah, because they're trying to show how fucked up this shit is and how demented these creeps are. ...amount of detail here, and this manga is definitely more realistic than, say, Prisma Elia. Of course, it's clearly a drawing and a fictional story, which is why Vice is able to show it. However, if this really were CP, the kind that would land you in jail, there's no way Vice could get away with that. If a real minor were being exploited, the last thing you'd want to do is share it to 600,000 people in a family-friendly section of YouTube. Not only would that land them in jail, but it would also completely undermine their noble goal of protecting kids. This means that Vice deliberately showed these images knowing they weren't harming anyone. That, or they'd rather profit off the exploitation of kids. So either they're a hypocrite or a devil. Take your pick. Shinji brings up his own justification for making lolly abuse manga, one that I personally don't agree with. Dude, his right hand probably has this fucking brace on it because he, like, fucking hurt his wrist from jerking off too much. Like, what the fuck, dude? He likes to believe that if actual child lovers... Re dude, what the fuck is this apartment? Holy shit. This looks like the average Reddit living conditions. I saw it with the two. Oh god, I woke up and this video's back. Yeah, this shit is fucking awful, bro. Go back to sleep. His books, perhaps they'll get their fill and not act on their urges in reality. I admit there could be some validity to this claim, but it becomes clear later that Shinji doesn't consider himself some kind of hero for making his art. The journalist tries to counter his belief by saying that crimes against children are on the rise in Japan. In truth, we honestly lack solid, irrefutable studies on whether loli manga is deterring or increasing actual abuse crimes. <laughs> this means that neither she Notice how they literally start tracking that in 2014 because it was A-OK -okay beforehand. Shinji nor the journalist have a leg to stand on here, but Shinji says we should wait until proof emerges before banning anything. She asks why wait, because if it turns out there's a correlation between manga and crime, that means more and more children will have to fall victim before proof can be obtained. However, by that exact same reasoning, Shinji notes that if there is no correlation, or if he's indeed right about deterring predators with his manga, that means a premature ban would lead to more victims, or at the very least, restrict creative freedom until proof is found. Shinji's manga is then showed to a woman, Kazuna Kanajiri, who works to assist victims of child abuse. She claims the girl in the manga reminds her of children she's actually worked with. The actions depicted in the manga, the shame, the humiliation, and trauma are all too believable, to the point where she believes said manga normalizes grooming. She says all this while admitting that- Of course it does, because it desensitizes you every single time you see this shit. If you look at this type of stuff long enough, you will eventually be like, oh, just another day in the office. Like, think about all the FBI people who have the job of, like, sifting through these fucking disgusting losers, like, laptops and hard drives and all this type of shit, and all the fucked up imagery they have to look at on a daily basis. Like, eventually, they're gonna get desensitized to that shit, even though they think it's fucking disgusting and they were never attracted to it in the first place. Imagine how fast you get fucking desensitized to this shit if it turns you on. That's what I'm saying, like... Anybody here is a fucking dumbass if they don't think this shit encourages real shit. Because this is literally like the fucking perfect example of a gateway drug, basically. 100%. That there's no way to prove it. The woman then goes on to assert that if children and teens were to be exposed to this manga, it would teach them that it's normal to get intimate with adults. There's only one problem here. It's that this book is not supposed to be given to children. Oh, wow, dude, because kids totally abide by ratings. It's not hanging... We live in fucking a world where that kids never get access to anything they're not supposed to, right? You know? Out in a Shonen Jump catalog, you have to go to specialized bookstores that ban kids just to find it. They what if somebody takes it to a fucking thrift store? Or somebody doesn't fucking sort through the books that somebody sells to them and they just stick it on the shelf. You know, like, 
or what's stopping a kid from walking into a store and grabbing it before the fucking clerk walks in? Like, I, why does this shit even need to fucking exist? It doesn't need to exist in the first place. You're sick in the fucking head if you're reading this shit. There's a smaller section of the video where the journalist even goes into one of these stores with a hidden camera, despite being told not to film. Of course they don't want you filming there. They'd have no idea where you'd post that video, meaning that it could very well be shown to kids. No, they don't want their clientele getting exposed. Because over in Japan, like, motherfuckers will wear masks when they go into these type of stores because they don't want people knowing who they are. The irony is palpable. Desperate to force their narrative. Like, they fucking know what's wrong with the shit they're doing. That's why they hide their faces when they walk in these type of stores. Because they know they're degenerate creeps and they don't want to be fucking documented. The vice journalist then interviews... Like... In Japan, like, this type of shit is heavily frowned upon. Like, insanely heavily frowned upon. The people who partake in this type of degeneracy are, like, literally the scum of the fucking earth to the majority of people in Japan. They are literally a source of national shame. <laughs> like, bro. There is no defending this type of degeneracy. Even the motherfuckers partaking are afraid of having their identity out there. Takashi Kato, a convicted diddler who had his way with three and four year olds for over 24 years without getting caught. This absolute vermin tries to blame his crimes on Lolly Manga, claiming it was his gateway. It probably fucking was, retard. <laughs> Gee, maybe we should take it from a first hand account of a literal fucking pedophile on how he got introduced into being attracted to kids. Whoa, that might be actual, you know, important first-hand knowledge. Crazy. Well, yeah, that's the thing, bro, is 24 years ago, all this shit was legal in Japan. Like, it wasn't until 2014 that they banned child porn, so he probably got away with it, and many others did for a very long time. Uh, Galen Wadsworth with the two, what if a kid goes online and finds it? Exactly. This shit should never fucking exist in the first place. It's so gross. Or, like, what happens if somebody goes to, like, a second-hand bookstore and somebody puts it on the wrong fucking shelf? Kid picks it up. It doesn't even need to exist in the first place. He's advocating to ban this manga. Yeah, Japan gave everybody a year grace period to delete all of their CP. Like, that's how fucking widespread this shit was in Japan. They literally had a one-year period in 2014 where you had, like, a grace period to remove all the CP and stuff from your computers and house and everything like that. To prevent more people like him from emerging. This is presented as some kind of gotcha moment, but it's honestly anything but. Takashi the devil here is just trying to avoid taking responsibility for his own nightmarish actions. He read those books, knowing they were fiction, and ignored his duty as a law-abiding citizen to enact what he read. This is where I feel that even if we wind up finding a direct correlation between offensive fiction and actual- Oh, even if we find a direct correlation, that's still not enough to ban it, guys, because we should still be able to enjoy it. Crime, banning said fiction will always be the wrong answer. In this case alone, there are much more pressing things that should have been done. Japan's legal system is- I just saw Ludwig react to doc or Vice's documentary. How is he not- Is it a video or is it a live stream? And also, he probably has like a, um, what's this shit called? MCN, I think, that probably has copyright protection on it. Totally failed us here. Takashi Dickbag was only ever sentenced to four months probation for these crimes, with much of what he- <laughs> That's Japan for you. Confess to falling outside the statute of limitations. If I had it my way, this guy would be rotting in a cell for life, or perhaps fa facing something far more sinister than I could describe on YouTube. Face down in a ditch with a bullet in the back of his head? How about instead of letting horrible criminals get the spotlight to blame their sins on manga, we make an example out of them to reinforce how brutal their actions are? It should be obvious that abusing kids is wrong, but if we let actual offend- Dude, we need to bring back the Pope's pair. Have you ever seen that? The Pope's pair. Hold on, let me pull this up. This is what we need to bring back for the fucking pedophiles, man. Ah. Uh. 
Oh, damn. That's like really zoomed in. Shit. This is what we need to bring back. This is an old, like, Italian torture device. You can probably guess what it does, right? You can imagine the shape of when it's completely closed, right? And where you might shove it. And then you twist it. And these are like sharp blades that as you twist it, they start to open up. No, not the dick. Somewhere else. But yeah, you start to twist it and it opens up like a flower. Uh Uh-uh. You shove it up their ass and then open it up and it like slices their fucking asshole open. And then you rip it out and then they bleed to death. That's the Pope's pair. But yeah. That's what we need to bring back. The brazen bull? The brazen bull is pretty cool too. Yeah, that would work. I mean, you could have a variety, right? You could use that and then throw them in the brazen bull. Enders off the hook like this, I'd argue that's way more enabling than any manga could be. Now, regarding the correlation between manga and crime, it's hard to make that claim when other parts of the world have far worse crime rates. The United States, which is often home to the very people who make hit pieces like this, has four times the number of sexual assaults accounting for population death. Did they use that on sinners? Yeah, sodomites, aka gay people. That was like the punishment for um, having sex with a man, you know. Kind of, you know, topical, I guess you could say, punishment-wise. But yeah, dude, the Vatican and the Italians in general were very creative with their different torture techniques. Like the Judas Cradle, for example. That one's pretty cool as well. Let's pull that one up. That one's really painful, bro. That's really painful. Um, there's like an image that demonstrates. Give me a second. Yeah, there it is. This is what I'm looking for. So yeah, check this out. Oh, fuck. I don't want to print it. The fuck would I want to print this? Okay. This is the Judas Cradle. So it's like a pyramid, basically, that you sit the person on. You can guess where the tip goes. And then they put sacks or, like, weights on your ankles and um, wrists to, like, weigh you down so that, like, over time, gravity pushes you down the pyramid and the tip goes further and further up until eventually it splits you in half. So that's called the Judas Cradle. But, yeah, that shit's pretty wild. Vlad style? That's too quick. Density. Maybe instead of policing fiction, we should be focusing on the fact that we have 199 times more gun murders than Japan. I'm not a data analyst. False equivalency. 99 times more gun murders than Japan. Gee, I wonder if that has to do with the fact that Japan literally doesn't have any fucking guns in its country. (laughs) That's like saying that the U.S. has way less panda maulings than fucking China. Like, no sh- Or, like, tiger attacks. Like, oh my god, bro, Nebraska has less shark bites than Florida. Like, no shit. Really? Florida has more shark bites than Nebraska? It's almost like Nebraska doesn't have fucking water. Oh my god, it doesn't have access to the fucking ocean. Crazy. It's amazing that, you know, in a country where people don't have access to guns, there's less gun violence. That's wild. It's like saying that, uh, I mean, it's just dumb. Like, bro, the UK has more stabbings than America does because they don't have guns, but they use knives instead. Crazy. Fucking wild, right? Biden has done such a good job stopping tiger attack. Yeah, this is such a fucking false equivalency, bro. This shit is really pathetic. 
I'm not a data analyst, but I can say these stats came from NationMaster, which has a boatload of sources spanning the last 22 years. Hmm, that's actually worth mentioning, since anime and manga are currently facing more censorship than ever before. If censorship or banning manga were to actually help against child abuse, you'd expect a decline with each passing year, not an increase as Vice pointed out earlier. Seriously, just look at anime and manga from the 80s and 90s. You'll find way more graphic and explicit stuff than you can these days. Who do that is not even that bad compared to most shit you see nowadays. The fuck? Say Yatsura is a great example. When that show originally aired on television, it showed Lum's bare chest, but the same can't be <gasps> he said for the modern remake. To clarify, I do love this new remake. I just want to point out how broadcasting standards have changed over the years. I wanted to see her titties, bro. So yeah, if censorship actually worked, you'd think we'd see results by now. The next part of this video is my favorite. It features Minoru Ogino, a Japanese politician who is also a self-proclaimed otaku. He sat down f Oh god, bro. You mean a self-proclaimed... Never mind. ...for an interview and asked to give his take on problematic manga. He admits just what I said, that ch That he enjoys it? ...child abuse is happening regardless of whether manga gets published. He confirms there has to be a scientific- He definitely had to clear his hard drive in 2014 basis for halting Japan's creative freedom. The journalist then asks him to read Shinji's manga and describe what's in it. Ogino bluntly points out all the nasty things the book contains, only to rule that it's just a comic book meant for adults. As such, it deserves legal protection. He's very clearly the voice of reason in all of this, but if you follow Ogino <laughs> on Twitter, he exposes Vice for manipulating the footage. He claims that when he sat down for the interview, they were in a brightly lit room, and he accuses Vice of intentionally darkening the footage to make him seem grim and evil, like some kind of Yakuza boss. I find it funny, because as much as Vice wants us to hate him, this is the one section of the video I would actually show other people regarding the topic. I take it as- Because he agrees with you? A huge win, and want more Japanese politicians to have his viewpoint. That's right, politicians. In Japan, we need to re-legalize the pedophilia, right? Trying to further portray lolly manga as a menace to society, the video returns back to Shinji as he confesses he's not proud of his work. He doesn't tell it. <laughs> Your parents probably fucking hate you too. His parents about his job, nor does he think he deserves- Yeah, I was about to say, he wouldn't speak a fucking word. Praise for the manga he creates. Personally, I think he's being a little hard on himself. <laughs> I think he was a little hard on that fucking wrist, bro. At the end of the day, he's creating escapist fantasy for the entertainment of others. Oh my god, man, I just can't wait to escape the bullshit of the real world, open up my favorite child rape anime book, and just relax. Like, what the fuck? Dog. This motherfucker should be escaping from this life onto the fucking next. It can only be so admirable in the first place. His manga shows deplorable things that should never be replicated in reality. But there are artistic creators who do the same thing and receive tremendous praise. I saw later with, with the two. What's this apartment? Bro, it's like literally the typical fucking pedophile troll cave apartment. I don't, it's disgusting. Ridley Scott made Alien, arguably the greatest horror film of all time. It features an alien ripping people to shreds after... Yeah... But do you know what it doesn't show? Child rape. Or a heavily suggestive face hugger impregnates a man through his mouth. You could ask why anyone would enjoy watching such a thing, and that answer would have to acknowledge how it's a work of fiction. Nobody would want to live in that world, yet it's morbidly fascinating to see it play out. While I find Shinji's manga disgusting, I'm able to admit that it's possible to indulge in a purely fictional context. Anyone who buys it has to consent to doing so. They know it's not real, and they should also be fully aware that they can't just replicate everything they see in a frickin' comic. Their video ends with one final interview, in which Akiyoshi Saito, a psychiatric social worker, asserts that our creative freedom isn't worth it if it means children are being harmed. They try to use him as their thesis statement, which- 
I mean, it sounds pretty base to me, man. Just that manga can be a Pandora's box for many people. That manga can indoctrinate people into having an interest in children. Again, how- I mean, bro, look no further than the fact that motherfuckers in Japan marry their fucking body pillows. I think it's pretty evident that people aren't able to distinguish reality from fucking fiction at this point. Like, bro, if you have unironically motherfuckers marrying their fucking Nintendo DS because of a fucking anime girl on it. Like, dude, the script has been fucking lost a long time ago. People do not understand the difference between reality and fiction anymore when you're taking it that fucking far. I mean, look no further than that perfect example. I mean, it's insanity. However, blaming manga for a more pervasive cultural problem is just running away from the heart of the matter. Plenty of people who consume loli hentai are just as angry about child predators as the rest of us. Yeah, they're angry they can't get in on the action. If not more so. You generation that's one another? Not tonight, bro. <laughs> I need to take a fucking shower after this shit. Oh my god. Dude, this is disgusting. This is probably the worst one we've watched from him, honestly. Because they get blamed for things they didn't do. Terrible people try to justify their sickening behaviors all the time, rather than facing a proper punishment. The stigma against manga has been around since Japan's infamous otaku killer incident. Some twisted monster went on a killing spree, and because he happened to also read loli stuff, a connection was made that's condemned the genre for everyone moving forward, like- Yeah, man. How dare he ruin the good name of loli. Fuck off, bro. Some kind of otaku original sin. My stance is that, while I find loli manga like Shinji's to be unappealing and repulsive, I do recognize that people can consume it safely, so long as they're responsible and emotionally stable. Dude, this is literally like... Who was the fucker that said, um... Bro, who was that person? Who was the guy on YouTube or Twitch that said that we should treat pedophiles by showing them child porn that's already been made. Who was that person? Fuck, man. That's the same fucking argument. That's literally... Dude, that takes... That's old as shit. I'm pretty... That was like an old Medicare fucking stream, right? That was Destiny? Yeah, bro, I remember that shit. I remember, like, Medica or whatever was debating that with somebody. And, dude, this is the same fucking argument. It's like, oh, well, it it's already out there. And if we could, you know, distribute it to these freaks, you know, that would be the, uh, that would be the better situation. Like, oh, my God, man. It's the same fucking argument. I'm having like a fucking flashback here. Furthermore, given how tons of attractive anime girls are mistakenly bundled as loli or branded as children despite appearing no different than 18 year olds, I fear cracking down on loli will condemn all manner of anime stuff that's nowhere nearly as nefarious. Japan definitely <laughs> has its own problems with perversion in society, but even the worst of it pales in comparison to what occurs in Western nations. That no, it does not, bro. We don't have this problem in fucking the U.S., dude. You don't have to have a completely separate train for women because of so many fucking rapes and gropings. They keep trying to impose their moral sensibilities onto Japan. The fact that Vi- Dog, we do not have that problem. This video is intentionally geo-blocked from Japan is a clear sign of this. They want to slander and criticize Japanese law while avoiding any backlash. Disabling comments is also a huge red flag. Instead of bans and no, they don't want a bunch of pedo weebs in their fucking comment section, and I don't fucking blame them. Censorship. We ought to be advocating that fiction remains fiction, while punishing anyone who fails to grasp such a simple concept. Going forward, let me know what you all think, because unlike Vice, I'm actually in favor of creative expression. So go ahead and share your ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this channel, help us grow by liking, I do not enjoy this fucking channel, and fuck you, you generation, for making me watch this shit. Oh my god, bro. Oh, dude, I feel nasty watching this shitty fucking channel. Oh my god. It's just, it's sad. Like, you just see the depths of fucking degeneracy that are on this fucking earth.
how you want to take a moral stance in favor of this type of stuff is just beyond me. I will never understand why anyone would want to die on the hill of protecting literal child porn, bro. It is absolutely fucking incredible that people will attach their names to such disgusting fucking shit. I mean, what the fuck has happened, bro? Maybe we need, maybe we're the ones that need to get fucking nuked. I don't even know at this point. <laughs> this shit's fucking, but like maybe China needs to win. You know what? Maybe China needs to become like the new master of earth because they wouldn't put up with this type of shit. They wouldn't allow this type of fucking degeneracy to run rampant. I don't know, man. This is just, you know what? We got to get going. Like, we got to get into the Chinese shill mode right now. The based CCP, I know, bro. I was too harsh on him. Oh my god, dude. They probably do kill the pedos over there. Oh my god, bro. Jesus Christ. This is the whole thing is just video games cause... No. No, 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 no. This is... That is one of the dumbest false equivalencies ever. This is not the same as the video games cause violence. Because the action of committing violence in a video game does not physically require you to commit violence in the real world. The act of getting sexually aroused by an anime character requires you to jerk off in the real world. There is a very, very, very large difference. Video game violence requires and causes no real world action anime and this fucking lolly shit does cause you to take real world action because your fucking sicko ass is pulling down your fucking cargo shorts and jerking it off hoping your mom doesn't fucking walk in and see an eight-year-old on your fucking fucking computer monitors like oh my god bro Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude, it's so disgusting. It's so disgusting. It really is. Because if it was an anime or a regular human being, you would still be doing the same thing. The activity is the exact same thing if it's a real person or a lolly. Whereas video game violence, you never put down the fucking controller. But if you want to go commit real world violence, you got to put down the controller and go do something else. What a fucking dumbass comment, bro. 
What an absolute fucking mental midget. I'm tell but then again, it's an anime profile. So these motherfuckers are mouth breathing Neanderthals. Oh my god, bro. This shit just gets me pissed. Now I got a bunch of fucking anime cringe. Oh my god. Yo, maybe... <laughs> Has he ever said anything about anime or nah? Reacts to anime? What the fuck? I just want to see if he talks shit about it. Andrew Tate hates anime. No, but I want to watch anime. Fuck that garbage. <laughs> you should play chess instead. Chess applies perfectly <laughs> to Chess board and life mimic each other perfectly. The queen is the most powerful piece on the board besides the king. King is you. King can't die. You die, the game's over. You cannot be trapped, you cannot die. So every single piece is disposable in sex. That's you. Your queen is your most powerful piece. If you're sitting there going, well, why is that true? Your queen's your most powerful piece because how your woman affects your mentality is extremely important. If you have a woman who just negatively damages your brain with constant negative emotion, you're not the man you could be. So that's why your queen's the most powerful piece on the board. Oh my, bro, what the fuck is this shit? Oh, did you guys see that? What the, f are these the same, they're the same people. Oh my God. So the biggest thing on the internet right now for some odd reason is this bald guy. Uh, I believe right now he is even more popular than Mr. Beast, which is honestly insane to me. But apparently he was very controversial in the anime community about four years ago. So I saw a video by Chibi Reviews called Man Thinks If You Watch Anime You Have No Respect For Yourself. And this video was uploaded four years ago and I was looking at the thumbnail and it was Andrew Tate. I'm like, wait, this guy was relevant four years ago? There is no way. And then I seen Forever World make a video on- Is this- hold on. I don't want to watch this guy commentate. Let's watch the- original. So some famous kickboxer thinks if you're over 15 and like anime, you're a fucking loser. Dog, are we going to ignore the fact that he has fucking anime merch covering up a box of Pampers? Yeah, according to Andrew... Does he have to shit himself so he doesn't have to get up and it can optimize his fucking anime watching time? Tate, 43 and 8. He thinks uh, people that watch anime that are over the age of 15 are losers and all sorts of different things. We're going to read some of this man's tweets. Apparently, he's famous, even though... Uh, I got more Twitter followers than him, and I'm an anime guy, so hey, who's the loser right there, buddy? But yeah, uh, before we you know, start into all that, let's read some of what this man thinks and how he is approaching the situation regarding his opinion on anime fans. Tweet number one. If you are over 15 and like cartoons, you are a loser. Anime, Dragon Ball Z, etc. No excuse. Plus, any woman loses respect for you. Grow up. Huh. Based. Huh. So even though Dragon Ball Z is pretty much over 15 years old in the West at the very least, I know it's been over like 30 years, Dragon Ball in Japan, but let's just talk about the West for a second. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it came over here and it started exploding in what, the late 90s, which that's definitely over, you know, 15 years ago. So if I enjoy Dragon Ball Z, um, and we're just going to talk about Dragon Ball Z for right now, right? Because he's saying even to the... Dog, he is proving Andrew Tate's point with every single fucking word that leaves his mouth with this fucking backdrop. The Funko Pops on the fucking desk. What is that shit? I don't even know. I'm just looking around. Is that a vape? Um, An anime bag? Wall posters? The level of Dragon Is that an Z anime lampshade? An anime blanket. Like, popular one that almost damn near everybody knows about. He's even saying you're a loser for that. Well, so if I enjoy Dragon Ball Z in 99 or 2000, I'm not allowed to enjoy it or like it or watch it now, even though, you know, I enjoyed it back then. No nostalgia, nothing. I'm a fucking loser for that. Kind of interesting, Andrew Tate. 43 and 8. Let's continue. Another one. 
female cosplayers equals girl isn't hot enough to attract male attention on Instagram, Bro. therefore dresses geek to solicit attention from beta dorks. This is what I've been fuck Dude, oh my god. Bro, Andrew Tate is spitting fucking facts here. Holy shit, I do like this guy a lot. Oh my god. Dude, this is literally what I've been saying for fucking years. Holy shit. Where the fuck has this guy been all my life? Oh my god, bro. Dude, if oh my it's so fucking true. It's like the VTubers, bro. They're too ugly to actually do regular fucking Twitch camming. So they gotta pretend to be little anime girls. Totally has nothing to do with the fact that they're passionate about this medium and just want to express it. Don't get me wrong. There's all different types of people in any medium of people that want attention. But no, it don't got nothing to do with the fact that we're passionate about this, that we love these characters, that they're really complex writings and great pieces of material. Not all of them, obviously, but a good majority of them, we want to express it. But no, nah, that's not it. It's some fucking bullshit that, you know, they, they, they just want attention from dorks because women totally want the dork attention, right? They they don't want their attention. They want their fucking money. They don't want the muscular motherfucker on Venice Beach. They want the motherfucker with the, the, the big pile of books and, and the glasses. That's the attention that women really want. Huh? Yeah, they don't want this Alpha Chad with the fucking strip of bleached hair and anime room. 43 and 8. Let's continue. I said depression wasn't real and cartoons are shit. A lot of the same people are triggered. Therefore, depressed losers love cartoons. Gaming. I see nothing but facts. Depression isn't real, and cartoons are shit. This is the type of shit that I ain't gonna lie, Mr. Tate. Yo, you think you a kickboxer? Oh, fine and dandy, bro. But when it's like eight months, oh, let me stop. Hold up. Oh, dude, is he gonna kick his ass? Oh, um. He's gonna pull out the pampers. So depression ain't real? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? <laughs> Do you have any idea how disrespectful and disgusting that comment is coming from somebody that has suffered from depression that has? Bro, look at your room. You're proving his point. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's so fucking stupid. Bro, look at your fucking room. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I'm done. Holy shit, this is bad. Many given friends that suffer from depression, you, my friend, are an ignorant piece of shit for that comment. And then on top of that, combining it with cartoons, because everybody that is depressed watches anime and cartoons. It's like, oh man, you know, they're, they're there with the fucking knife to their wrist watching a good old episode of fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, huh, you dumbass? 43 and 8, let's continue. Go ride a bike, take a walk, skip the fantasy bullshit. Maybe you'll be happier. Amen. Don't get me wrong. Exercise is great. Personally, I don't really indulge in it that much. <laughs> oh, fuck me, dude. It just keeps getting worse. It just keeps getting worse, man. Much as you can see, but... So, uh, that means I can't just chill out on the couch with my girl and, and, and watch a, a good old episode of ReZero because if I am, I'm indulging in nothing but fantasy. I need to go out there and, and take my girl on a bike ride or something. That's your opinion, huh? 43 and 8. Let's continue. Specifically, anime. South Park was funny. Simpsons is shit but somewhat popular. Anime is for losers. Hmm, I can destroy your whole argument right there. Oh shit, bro. He's gonna fucking destroy him. Zero four Alphatron with the two. He doesn't exercise. News. I I would have never guessed, man. I never would have guessed. I wouldn't have expected that in a million years. Yeah. So essentially, he's saying the level of popularity determines on whether or not it's loser activity, right? No, The Simpsons is more popular than South Park, you fucking dumbass. He's saying Simpsons is shit, but it's popular somewhat, right? Uh, hey, Mr. Tate, um, could you? He literally said it's shit, bro. Included Dragon Ball Z in this discussion. Uh, let me let me give you a little piece of uh history here, motherfucker. Oh, dude, we're gonna get educated on the history of Dragon Ball Z. Let's yeah, he's, Dragon gonna, he's gonna fucking shoot a spirit bomb or some shit. 
AKA is going to shit himself and then fling the shitty diaper across the room. Ball Z in its heyday was competing in ratings with The Simpsons, you stupid piece of shit. So wow, it's almost like it was meant for a bunch of kids to watch. Crazy. Therefore, that means also Simpsons would fall into your category of losers. And on top of that, I can almost guarantee that Dragon Ball Z beat out several episodes of South Park, especially back in the day on Comedy Central Late Night. I'm sure Dragon Ball Z was giving South Park a fucking dead knockout regarding ratings. So again, your whole argument is shit. And you're saying, oh, because you find South Park to be funny, then that means that it's okay and acceptable, which you're going into subjectivity at that point. Am I right? But maybe I'm getting a little too complex for your pea brain ignorance. Let's continue, Mr. Uh, uh, this is incredible, man. You're 43 and 8. You're 43 and 9 already after this video, motherfucker. But let's continue. Sonic says if your profile picture is from an anime, your opinion doesn't count. If that is true. If your profile picture is from somebody 43 and 8, almost a 10% ratio of losses, you're a fucking idiot and you can't say nothing either, motherfucker. And he goes on to say a couple more things. The anime Dude, is he really saying that because Andrew Tate lost 8 fights... And when 43 wins, he doesn't have, like, the right... Like, what the fuck is this logic? So, because Andrew Tate went into the fucking cage and fought and went 43-8 and eight for his win-loss ratio, that somehow disqualifies him and makes him a loser? My guy, you literally just admitted you don't even want to fucking take a walk. You want to sit on your fat fucking ass on the couch watching anime. Main community have nothing to disprove their loser status, weird sexual messages, and sassy, effeminate insults, oddballs. So because he's picking out some of the more extreme bunches, as you can see from his Twitter, then automatically that that's the whole opinion on Dragon Ball and, and anime as a whole. Not that there's people that just, hey, they click on an episode of Super on a Saturday night and then go on about their day. Those people, they're all classed in the same bunch as motherfuckers that are jizzing into their body pillows. We're all the same, right? Men Dude, you're not making a great case, my guy. You literally have a massive fucking Dragon Ball Z cum rag behind you with a box of fucking diapers, anime posters all over the place, an anime lampshade, literal fucking Funko Pops, and an anime crossbody bag, dude. With this weird ass fucking haircut. And the pedo stash. Like, you literally have the Dreamcast guy reverse Hitler stash. I didn't notice that until now because I was trying not to look at his fucked up teeth. But anyway, yeah, no, he literally has the Dreamcast guy reverse Hitler stash. Like, if he and Hitler kissed, they would have a complete mustache. Mr. Andrew Tate, first of all, you're 43 and 8 is 43 and 9 now. You disgust me. You're an ignorant piece of shit. And it looks as though you do this to bait people to get attention because clearly you ain't popping. Even though you're verified, how the fuck? I'm not even popping like that on Twitter. How do I got more Twitter followers than you? What's your problem? You're a fucking idiot. You're the loser. Good day, motherfucker. Peace. Dude, I would pay a million fucking dollars to have Andrew Tate react to this video. Dog, oh, I wish there was some way... For me to drop this in his fucking inbox. Do you know how fucking hilarious the reaction would be? Oh my god, bro. Could you imagine? Could you imagine, like, Andrew Tate sitting down and watching this shit and doing a fucking live reaction to it? That would literally be some of the greatest fucking content to ever exist on the fucking internet. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> it happened? Wait, he watched this? When did he watch this? Oh, he pulled up to a hater's house. Oh, okay. Shit. I thought he watched this. I was about to say, there's no fucking way. Have an awesome one. Bro, PewDiePie calls the creator of Bleach a genius. Bruh. Breaking news, guys. PewDiePie called the creator of Bleach a genius. Oh my god. Yo, let's see what's up here now. Top G said it and losers are raging at the comments in their mom's basement looking 
<laughs> you, we got a loser. POV when an anime character has more followers than you. Oh my god. This is aged interestingly. Let's see. Andrew Tate going to jail. Let's see. The comment and video is made by degenerate people living in their fantasy world. Don't get it wrong. He is famous. This aged well. Oh, my God. The top G now uh, for never world. And in this case, you're a loser. I'm not wrong. Then I don't want to be. Wait, if I'm not. Wait, if I'm wrong, then I don't want to be right. Uh, let's see. This aged terribly. This did not age well. Holy fucking shit. Never heard of Tate until this year. Never knew that you made a video about him before. For me, Tate is right. Many will disagree. Let me tell you, I've watched over 300 anime, and I love anime, but I still think they're a waste of time. What I mean is, I believe anime is a huge distraction from real life shit, but then again, I still watch, thus I try to control it, like I did with video games, that I have stopped playing some time now. Big W. That is a big W, man. Uh, let's see. Bro, Dragon Ball Z isn't some random cartoon, lol. That's right, man. It is the Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh, my God. The extremely rare Tate L. Dragon Ball is at least... Wait, is the least cringe anime. Saying that something is the least cringe anime is like saying that something is extremely bad, but it's not as bad as something else. Right? Oh my god. <laughs> Top G is better than any of you geeks in every dimension imaginable. Trigger chuck the cuck noises. <laughs> Who fondles their meat watching NTR? <laughs> chuck the cuck. <laughs> Yo, that's what I haven't heard that shit in a long fucking time. Chuck the cuck. Damn. Yeah, listen, I fucking love anime, but all you've done is prove his point by making this video. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. Tate had you on strings. Laugh my ass off this aged well. Oh, my God. I am a woman, 48, and love Dragon Ball Z. I have every... Wait, I even have a collection of DBZ figures taking up an entire shelf. Tate is a one-dimensional personality with no substance. And that's the truth of the matter. Bitch, you're a fucking ne damn near 50-year-old with a fucking shelf of Dragon Ball Z toys. Shut the fuck... Oh my god, dog. I just... It, it's sad. People take pride in this shit. They're like, yeah... He's so wrong, dude. I'm 50 years old, and I've got more fucking figurines than he has championship. Like, whatever. Oh, my God. They actually think that's a flex. And that's what's sad. Huh. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, this did not age well. Famous, even though uh, I got more Twitter followers than him, and I'm an anime guy, so hey, who's the loser right there, buddy? But yeah. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, I would pay to have Andrew Tate react to this shit. This shit would be fucking hilarious. Maybe I should join the war room, pay the five grand, just so I can like contact him and say, bro, I have the best content opportunity for you in the history of all that is the internet please for the love of god roast this fucking weeb that literally has pampers in the back of his room so he doesn't have to get up to take a shit while he's watching anime oh uh, god damn man wow that was a train dude that was a fucking train ride tonight like we literally go from like Basically, one of the most disgusting human beings on planet Earth defending literal child sex in anime. To now, we go to like... <laughs> oh, 
uh, dude, I don't even know what the fuck to call this guy. A weeb cave troll who literally has a room decorated with nothing but anime-related objects who literally thought he could flex on Andrew Tate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, this is fucking hilarious. This shit is fucking hilarious. Is this dude still, like, popping off, or is he kind of... Yeah, he's still doing all right. Bro, he's doing Naruto? Ew. Why is he watching Naruto anymore? Naruto fucking sucks. Oh, my God. Look at the soy face. I haven't been this hyped in a while. One Piece card game, Romance Dawn. Consume. So he just does, like, clickbaity shit for, like, the popular. Oh, my God. Oh, is he going to get emotional? Yeah, fuck Ash, bro. Mm. <sighs> Damn. Dude, I need to go take a fucking shower. Jesus Christ, I've been exposed to too much anime tonight. I feel dirty. I saw there with the two. You gotta watch his rap. Okay, we'll watch that. What was his fucking name? Oh, wait, I can hit back. Let's see. Rap. This one? Ultra Instinct? Let's yeah, he does not look like that. Start here. I breathe ass and eat air. Now class done. Intercourse dismissed. I don't care. If I gave a slide of fuck less, I'd be further in debt. Sometimes I'd be riding your face and hit like Genjutsu in place. That's how it be, though. Nothing but great ever just to get a C, though. Eyes watching, but we never seem to be, though. Even when stakes are high, we never seem to meet, yo. It's always please, yo. Never satisfied, though. What the fuck I gotta do to get by, though? No matter how much... Dude, this is a fucking Reddit mod beat. I seem to fucking try though. At times I really wanna motherfucking die, yo. I won't lie, yo. No matter how you get it done. Did he hire, like, the fucking audio mixer off of Fiverr? Get it done. How you get it done. Ever since Jazz found me shipping crazy, no longer lazy. But lately, maybe it's because nothing can really faze me. Fill in up. Take this world like a nasty girl home and fuck it. If she act like a lady, eat her ass. That's how we do, yo. Nothing stopping us today. We make moves, yo. Don't be insecure about shit. Do you, yo. Just stay away. Yeah, yo. With that motherfucker lies, yo. Yo, Oh my god, bro, his hair changed color again. Situation that comes away like it could potentially be oh, my grave. Dude, I gotta again. find a way out, no longer lay down, give up, quit, bitch, or let life kick me around. This is it, I gotta do it, gotta stay lit. Fairy Dragon Slayer, cause we fired up in this bitch. No BS with this plot, though. Even if shit don't make sense for dollars, we fix it. Like filling a pothole, and that's it. We make a major move, laugh and let the haters lose. We don't give a fuck, virginity intact, cream stacks. Oh shit, you heard it, best believe that. But now it's what up. Dog, 
what the fuck is that build? <laughs> I don't think your abs are this fucking small. If your torso is that fucking wide. major moves laugh and let the haters lose we don't give a fuck virginity intact cream stack paper rules if you heard it best believe that for now it's whatever one day i'll be your favorite for never available on itunes bro let's go Oh my god, dude, that shit was terrible. This is... Oh. I wish I didn't read that. I wish I didn't fucking read that. Dude, I want to fucking shoot myself in the head. This is not fire. This is a moderatsu. Fucking suck dicks in an Olive Garden bathroom. Motherfucker. Oh, uh, I hate the fact that I know what it means, but basically a Amaterasu is this fucking shit from Naruto that is like this black flame that can never be extinguished. Yeah. <laughs> shit. I don't know, guys. Jesus Christ. Sam the Mammoth with the two people need to find God. I'm being serious. Dude, this is like... 